people. So it is currently six o'clock. So I am heading today to Alice Street Park now. Basically, with this, I have to walk like halfway, and I'm gonna have to get a taxi. Like first, I'm gonna taxi, just because. Basically, it's like right at the top of the fur road, but the problem is, as you go further, further up, it turns into I think it's the A6. It's some A word road anyway, so there's no kind of pavement. So I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, <laughs> get a taxi. I think I did look there was a bus, but. I'm not sure if the bus, because it's the same bus, they got sent by the same company out to Nottingham, but I don't know if it's going to have like a thing to let you know which bus stops coming, if that makes any sense, because <laughs> obviously I don't really know that area, so I decided the best bet is just to get a taxi, but I got a taxi which I kind of trust, and they've posted a thing on like social media, you can use the taxi like after every use, and it will wipe you down anyway, so. I'm fine with that, so, yeah, so, it's, yeah, I did tell you it's time in it, so I'm going to head out in a minute, um, and then, you know, I'm going to walk to, basically, the bottom of Dusfield Road, which I don't understand why it's so money, so much money, like, they get it to be around, like, six pounds something, which is a bit weird, because I'd have thought it'd be more closer, like from my house to the McDonald's near me, it is around about like four pounds something. So I don't know, it's a bit weird. Unless they took into consideration possible traffic, so they're spending more on those the weekend. So I doubt it, but I don't know. So, <laughs> so that, is, that is happening. So I'm, I'm kind of early, I kind of booked it for like eight, and it's only like half seven. So that actually wasn't too bad. But anyway, you can tell the they're literally full of green then. What is this? Like after someone's been in there, because I came out <laughs> and then he was there for a while. I'm guessing he was clean, but the cleaner had to like every like each, like after each passenger. But yeah, I felt really, <laughs> I felt really awkward though because honestly, I got in the car, I had the, my backpack on my back, and I really wanted to go and put sanitizer in my hand, but I didn't really want to offend the guy because it's not like a bus. I don't give a shit about that. So I was just like, so I just kept my hand on a bum bag. So I have a bum bag, I took that off now so I can put it back up on. Where I only go in there if I'm getting money and stuff like that. But I always have to sanitize my hands after because, yeah, that's a, it's the germsy bag basically. <laughs> so I put that back in my rucksack. So I just have my hands on there, but I felt like proper awkward. But yeah, like I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be like too offensive and do it. So, but I mean, as I said, they literally, if you're wondering, a taxi is zero from Derby's Albatross, they literally just clean up to every passenger, you give it a whack down. So, there is that if you are a bit, what's it? But I wasn't as like panicky as when I went on the bus. I don't know, I think it's probably because I just found buses more like, or hygienic and disgusting, but whatever. I wish I left a little bit earlier just because the sun is starting to little bit piss me off a little bit. I forgot that we're in summer and it's not quite autumn last last winter yet. So I think I wished I should have come probably instead of going for eight, maybe go for seven or even six, but oh well. So there's this thing here which I think is supposed to stop it from overly what's that on the um, on the pathways. It's overflow when we get heavy rain, it just goes in there. Because right now the water is actually quite high. I can't get over how beautiful this place is. Bear <laughs> in mind, I'm literally just like walking through like the tree part. Apart from the fact there's like a golf course just smack in the middle. But yeah. I'm kind of, if you didn't know, I'm kind of obsessed with trees. Well, not like obsessed with trees, but I just really, like, I'm not like a tree hugger, even though there is a picture of me when I was in going like tree hugging a tree. So, I mean, do what you will with that. You could call me a tree hugger if you want to, but I just, I just really like trees and I like, like walking through woods and everything like that, even though sometimes I do get lost, which isn't the best thing to get lost in a wood, but I, I usually find my way out eventually. Uh, but yeah. 
come to the conclusion where I think I just attract dogs. This is like the second dog <laughs> just come up to me. <laughs> like I think I, 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 I think I just attract dogs at this point. I've probably just been in the worst, most disgusting toilets I have been in my whole entire life. Yeah, the outdoor toilets, but Elvis and Castle is in that full face. So. <laughs> oh, sucks. Really. had a stick stuck to my legs but basically fucking hell so first off if you know already if you watch quite a few of my vlogs I like to wipe the toilet seat before I use it now so I was doing that right and I usually use either an antibacterial wipe or a tissue with hand sanitizer it depends if you've got my wipes right so I'm wiping around this toilet it is so fucking filthy I'm just like nah <laughs> fuck that shit so I, so I was like trying to fucking squat and piss I was like is this going to work and luckily it does work because I'm a bit funny like I've tried like pissing before well, I mean technically it's a toilet so like I've tried like I have to piss on the toilet like, I've tried pissing you know when you're out somewhere and there's no kind of toilets like I've tried to kind of piss out and pull, it just doesn't work even when I'm desperate I just can't it needs to be in the toilet so then I come out to wash my hands <laughs> I was like, okay, they've got soap. They've got no fucking hot water. Like, they've got all these messages about COVID, like, wash your hands properly and stuff like that. But your hot water don't even fucking work. It's only cold water. Cold water does bullshit. I was like, oh, my God, I'm sorry. If I need this all again, I... No. I'm holding that for shit. I thought, this is fucking disgusting. Like, that is just revolting. Like, honestly... As I said, yeah, the outdoor toilets, but Alveston Castle's toilets ain't fucking all like that. So, literally, if you ever come in to Alveston, 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 Alistair Park, don't fucking use their toilets, because it's fucking disgusting. Like, it's grubbing shit, but I might just fucking complain, because I just rancid. Like, I came out, I was like, I need to store hands, so I understand my hands, because that's just, that's just beyond, a beyond a joke. Like, you have these signs... <laughs> And then you can't even keep the toilet seats clean, and you can't even provide hot water. Like, what? What is the point? Like, what is the fucking point? But that was just fucking disgusting. Like, literally fucking disgusting. That's why you should always have hand sanitizer with you for those situations. Because, guess what, guys? Cold water does bullshit. Like, it does a little bit, but it's not the same as using warm water and soap, or even hot water and soap. Like, cold water is just cold water so I thought oh my god I need to hand sanitize my hands because that was just that was just fucking revolting like I can't believe that like what the fuck <laughs> jeez <laughs> and that is why I wiped toilet seats but I said after that I couldn't I couldn't sit on it I just felt disgusted I just I just literally full on squatted like that is just the worst toilets I've been in like the worst outdoor toilet so they really don't have no fucking excuse but that's just fucking disgusting more or less, most of the time, if I'm ever in like an area where it's quite wooded, there's always something like this here. Like, do they like the people that own the place? Do they like do it themselves, or is it like a homeless person and use it for shower, or is it a drug den? Like, I can't really see them. It's so weird because it's like, because it honestly it's not natural occurring. Someone literally just built a hut, but I've always wondered who actually builds these. I had to go. And to this extent, uh, oh my god, manic, obviously Saturday, to pick up a Boots order. Oh my god, Boots, like the worst customer service in my life. So, I knew how Covid was happening and everything. So I queued up, first off they didn't tell me there were two different queues, one for like, to be seen by a person, or one to go, you know, the self-service, because they cut that bit off, and it's like, what the f this is ridiculous. Anyway, I go up to the counter and she's like, oh, um, it's down there. Instead of using a common sense and maybe I'll oh, just do it from there, she told me to go down there. So I go down there. This, bless him, this isn't his own fault. But if they send them click and collect down there, they need more than two people. This guy was like helping this, this, well, this guy, this, um, this worker was helping, obviously, this couple because down there is the way you can print photos and stuff on, like, a self-service thing. He was helping them. And he looked like somebody who specialised in that anyway. So he did, obviously, take his mind. But I wasn't pissed off with him. I was pissed off with Boots. Like, you need another person on that. And why have you just got... What, this queue was going proper big as well. Why have you not got two tools open? I mean, two, like, service what's it's open. Like... 
have you not learned? Like, this is what I mean. This is what piss. Like, it's just, it's unorganized. I was like, what the fuck? Just hurry up. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of the city centre. People are stupid. stupid. But I was like, what the fuck? Because some lazy ass bitch couldn't be asked to follow me down. Like, what the fuck? I'm sorry, but talk about shit customer service. And then I have to wait 10 minutes, which isn't his fault. But if they're going to send, click and collect down there, they need fucking more than one person. Like, seriously, like, what the fuck? And the one thing that is really annoying is when you see a picture that looks great and then, but it's blurry and it's like, oh my god, no. <laughs> like, you don't mind the photos that are blurry but didn't look good anyway. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the scenery and stuff. Like, they'd look fine if they weren't blur blurry. Like, I don't mind about them, but the ones that would look fine if they weren't blurry just hurts inside. <laughs> I am starving. <laughs> I can safely say I burnt burnt i burned through that ham sandwich usually i don't it doesn't really necessarily bother me like hunger and stuff like, like the past week or well, last week i've just been having like sandwiches at home is when i have like crisps as well which makes no fucking sense because i'm at home <laughs> but there's like nothing in the house obviously my parents and everyone has gone shopping food shopping so I just really want something else because <laughs> I'm freaking hungry. <laughs> it involves going out and walking again, but there's only the corner shop. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm pretty hungry, people. I'm pretty hungry. Picked up some Jacob's mini cheddars, this Mickey barbecue flavour. Actually, so cold. Well, I choose the worst outfit to wear. Like, look, it's like the tr strappy, like, all in one. And it's like, I thought wearing this would, because this. Can't, just because this is kind of plastic that had warm me up a little bit like I only felt it a little bit in the morning like when I was at the place just because I had a end when I had after I had the energy drink I just assumed and I was walking around and stuff so it would have been warmed up but when I went to the shop I went with that coat and it was goddamn freezing and now it's freezing in here even now the fire's on in the front room it's still freaking cold so I'm like ugh cinnamon but the temperatures aren't looking good for the rest of the week anyway like it has just been raining and last time i checked it weren't supposed to rain so it's probably gonna rain tomorrow even though it says now it's not gonna rain tomorrow oh my god the weather <laughs> the video i uploaded this morning was an unboxing of the on the ass um underpants um obviously so i had to put because it's male i had to put female um like female review of it and I, I've not got that many reviews, like, it's not even been a day, like, I, I uploaded it, it must have been around, I want to say half five, and now it is currently, um, it's currently four o'clock, and, um, it's quite, like, for me, it's quite a lot, obviously, for some sort of other people, it wouldn't have been a lot. But for me, to get that many views in that space of time, it's a lot. So I don't know if it's... Because one, there's not many people talking about it. I only saw a few videos on it, which is a bit weird. Um, not a bit weird, but I thought they were more well-known. Second of all, I don't know if it's the thumbnail. So the thumbnail is literally me wearing them. Or it's three, just men, like, looking at females wearing men's underwear. It's a turn-on. I don't know. <laughs> Like, I'm not sure, a bit weird. It could be, gen it could be though, generally, because no one's talking about. I've noticed, like, a lot of people think when you want to get views on YouTube, you need to talk about the latest stuff. Not necessarily. A lot of my reviews of product that have got, like, 3.3k views, which is a lot for me, are products where people want to know more information about it, but no one's talking about it because they're not really... Either it's not really that popular, like for example, one of them's an MP3, one of them an MP3 player, yeah, one of them's an MP3 player. Like some people still use MP3 players, you'd be shocked. So, and I still get comments on it as well. Uh, another one is the Rimmel London Jelly blushes and highlighters. Again, that's got quite a lot of views. Um, another one is a shaker a protein shaker. So, you'd be surprised if you can find a product which you think that a lot of people a lot would be interested in not necessarily pop popular because there's a lot of products there that 
products that people use or people want to find out, which is kind of under the radar. So if you're like, if there's is only you that's done a review on it, is or there's only a few people that have done a review in it, review on it, you're gonna get more views. So that is another tip. You don't necessarily need, especially in the beauty industry and the reviews industry and stuff like that. You don't need to review like the top end like of stuff, you know, that have just come out and stuff because that area can be a bit too competitive if you're one of those people that care more so about views this i've just noticed like by accident that it happens but if you care more about views try and review stuff that not many people are actually talking about because they get the more views and more interactions as well because obviously there's not really any competition and um, with other youtubers but that is a good tip um if you're wondering, but yeah, I just, there are the three reasons why I reckon that's got quite a few views though in that space of time. <laughs>